Yeah, I'm gonna sit like this for a while. I'll see you later. You know, while I was sitting there and just relaxing with my thoughts, and uh, which is something I love to do, I love to get introspective. I love to think about, you know, how our mind works, why we think the way we think, and all those things. And I try to think about why I sometimes feel scared or timid to embrace one thing, you know, fully. You know, whether it's my acting or it's my filmmaking, directing, writing, uh, you know, doing Twitch, doing vlogs, all these things. It's something that I, uh, I struggle with to give it a full commitment. And I think it's because there's a word that I learned, a phrase called a, your spheres of influence. And I think it's because I fear one sphere of influence. I want to do it all. I want to do everything. I, I think the one thing we will have in our dying days is our experiences and our memories. And that's one thing that, you know, you can't replicate, you can't um, fake it. You know, money can buy you uh, experiences, sure, but that's about it. You gotta make your own memories, you gotta get out there, you gotta try things. It's, uh, and I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for all my multiple experiences. That's one thing I want to do with my life is to do more of everything. I want to do it all. You know, I get so inspired by the people around me that, you know, I want to do it all. I want to paint something beautiful. But do I want to be a painter? No. I want to write beautiful music, but I don't want to be a musician. You know, I want to be able to play in a symphony but it's not what I want to do. You know, I want to be able to experience the full, uh, I want to be able to experience the fullness of uh, what VR has to offer, virtual, virtual reality, but do I want to be a, a gamer? No. You know, I love the fandoms and, and the weird cultures, you know, furries, for example, they're great, but uh, do I consider myself a furry? No. You know, it's the same with sexual, orientation these days people are so caught up with labeling everything everything has to have a label and I I just don't think that way you know people say you know who, who are you I'm Joey oh what are you into well, I'm into everything what are you not into well I'll let you know when I when I know things I'm not into I can tell you I'm not into hate I'm not into people who want to tell other people how to live their lives we're all different we all have our own explanations of how to live on this earth and how to get by and that's okay, as long as your way doesn't contradict with me, it doesn't interfere with me. If your way is, to, well, I gotta kill everybody, well, that's a problem. You know, if your way is, I gotta be hateful, I gotta be mean. Well, I'm sorry, that just doesn't jive well with me. I think we gotta work together, I think we gotta all get along. So, that's just some uh, introspective thinking that I've been doing, just sitting on that bench, but you know, You know, even with my vlogs, I get nervous about just doing one thing, you know? Because then what am I? I'm a vlogger and that's my thing. I have to do that thing. If I could vlog anything, if I could do anything to share with you, it's my experiences, the things I've done, the, the memories I've made, the people that I've met. You know, that's, that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm doing now. That's what this channel, I want it to be. I want this channel to be everything. I don't want this channel to be just one thing. I don't wanna care about algorithms and, and all that BS. I wanna do it all. So, I will. So when we get back, I'm gonna keep doing this vlog. We're gonna find the next thing to do. What's it gonna be? Maybe it's gonna be to make a short film. Maybe it's going to be to write a rap, you know? Who knows? But, you know, life is never just one thing. It's a, a multitude of color and beauty. And I just can't do it. I can't do one thing. I got to keep changing it up. So that's going to be my big push when I get back home. You know, after I give myself a couple days to rest, 
I want to get back to vlogging, but I want to get back to vlogging more things, more experiences, more adventures, more sharing in those moments. And I need to start up my podcast. You know, a podcast is something I would really like to do. A podcast, I think, would be great. So when I get back, that's another thing I'm going to focus on, doing a podcast. And that's a place that we can uh, rant about things. I'll talk about more podcasting after I pass this guy. You know, the podcast is something that I want to do. I want to be able to have a space and a time where I can talk. We can talk. We can bounce off each other, our friends, our family, the people around us. Share in our experiences. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. I just want to share what works for me and what I've learned on, so far uh, with my time on this planet. And I want to share that with you. I think the most important thing we can do as humans is share. Share in everything that we've learned. Share our, our memories and our experiences so that we can all learn from one another. I mean, sure, you're, you're always going to want to learn on your own. Someone could tell you all day that the fire is hot and you're still going to wonder, well, is fire hot? You're going to put your hand close to the fire and you're going to say, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty hot. So, most importantly, I want to be happy. That's always been my guiding lesson in life. The thing that I build everything on, everything that I am. I want to be happy. And luckily I've always found a way to be happy even when things are, are sad. There's, a, there's always a silver lining somewhere. Somewhere I'm going to find it. And in a way that may be one of my biggest fallacies because sometimes I don't take things seriously enough. Because I'm too focused on the silver lining and having a good time and, and, and smiling. Sometimes I may not be as serious as I need to be about things. And that's just the way it's going to be. And you know what? I'm okay with that. If that's, if that's the, the worst of it... I'll take it, you know? I want you to be happy. I want us all to be happy. Be not just content, be happy, to be joyous. You know, I am so lucky that I can look around and open my eyes and just be happy. You know, I can look at the ocean or I can look at a beautiful day sometimes. I can go outside and I can look at the trees and just be like, wow, what a blessing it is to see nature to experience that. You know, I remember my first heartbreak. The thing that helped me get over it and the thing that kind of helped jumpstart this whole experience was I thought, wow, some people don't even experience love. And I have. And now I've experienced heartbreak and some people don't even experience that. I mean, what's the saying? Better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all? I think it's true. Because those emotions help you grow. You build on it all the time. And that's what this vlog's about. It's about growing. It's about moving, experiencing, sharing. And we're gonna keep it up. Even after this vlog is over, even when we're all done, we're back home in Austin, we're gonna keep going. Because I love you. I really do. I really do love you. I care about you. I want your life to be better. And if me sharing in my experiences of the world can, can help with that, then great. Maybe you don't need me. That's okay. But I need you. I need all of you. We can't do this alone. We can, but it's a hell of a lot harder. Anyway, this is stuff that's better safe for the podcast that I'm going to do when I get home. Podcast, setting that up. You know? I think first first episode, talking about the trip, talking about the places that I went, what I liked, what I disliked, maybe reviewing some of this footage while we're doing the podcast. Episode two, maybe it's going to be about Star Wars and why the new ones are awful. And in hindsight, the prequels were good compared to what Disney gives us now. That's, that's all stuff for the podcast. What am I doing for the rest of this day? Well, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to take it easy today. I'm going to enjoy the view. Enjoy the fresh ocean air. I just put some time into myself, into thinking, into working out what I want to do. And how I can best share that with you. And how we can be better every day. Every day, how can we be better? It doesn't have to be huge. We can start small. We'll take it easy, but we got to keep moving forward. One of my favorite sayings my dad would always tell me, something that stuck with me, he said, always keep moving forward. 
no matter where you're going, no matter what you're doing, you gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving forward because you'll be okay. You'll be all right. Keep moving forward. I believe in you. I believe in us. Now, there are important lessons that we've all learned from our homeland. And for me, growing up in America, I've learned that we were made great because we became a melting pot of all cultures, of all people, a place for everyone to be free, to share in those ideas from their homeland, their country, wherever they are in the world, they could come to America and, and teach us their ways. And it's something that it's very sad to see now with uh, the way the world is going. We seem to be rejecting that. But that's the lesson that I learned from being an American and learning American history, was to be open to all people, all ideas, to find the best way for us all to live in peace and happiness. Now, the other lesson I learned from being an Austinite is there's a phrase that says, keep Austin weird. And uh, that goes in part with being opening and being welcome is you gotta be open to the weird, you gotta be open to the different. Because the weird and the different, you know, that's it, good. You're weird. Be weird. You know, when I was younger, I, I might, I might, you know, I was when I was younger, I was weird, but I was also annoying. I learned to be less annoying, but to still embrace the weird, to be different. You know, it's okay. In fact, I, I embrace the weird. It's how I've gotten to know so many weird people on my journeys and I'm so thankful for it so accept the weird the different I mean the normal you see that all over the place we don't need more of that we don't need more normal what we need is this change I mean evolution is, is in our DNA it's part of who we are to keep changing to keep moving we can't get stuck in the past and as a human race, we've been stuck so much, so much lately. I see we're stuck in our old ways. And it's time to progress. It's time to keep going. 